Steve is even though I wasn't a close personal friend of his, he always treated me like a good friend. Whenever I'd be out and I'd see him, he'd recognize me. Once the show ended, he just went out to the crowd and spoke to everyone like he was their friend. When I'd see him, he, we'd just hug. And there's a tragic loss for San Diego. Greatest haircut ever, most fashionably dressed rock and roller on the planet. He always treated you like he was like you were his best friend. Watching him destroy a no vacancy sign with a lead pipe. You know, just classic rock and roll fun. He brought a lot of people together, so uh, it'll be a good turnout tonight, as you can see. I don't give a damn on my reputation. Well, you trouble, dead, no communication. I can do what I want to do. He just shared the love so much and I always just felt that from him from the first day I met him till the last time I saw him. If you look around this whole room here, this outdoor and the indoor, Brian and I were just discussing if he was an asshole, nobody would have been here. But it's great to see how many people came out to support Steve. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen the cast by this pack. Steve was the epitome of what Junk Records was. It was reckless abandon, but it was intestinal fortitude, and when it was time to play, there was no fucking around. We're having a beautiful memorial here. It's really more a celebration about, about his life and music and what music does, which is bring people together. Every time they played here, We'd end up staying in the back bar till three or four in the morning, and you know that's that's what I remember. We would just be there. Bob was back behind the bar, and Mario and Steve would be drinking Jack and Cokes, and we'd be back there just shooting the shit. I don't know how many times he went to Europe or not, but one of the times he went was with us. Looking back, it was it was great, and he also um, celebrated his birthday in Rome. And so it was really cool. He, he was so happy, you know, like we were standing outside the Coliseum. And I don't think there was anybody that could produce the kind of reaction we've got today. Because everybody loved Steve Rodriguez. He loved life, he loved rock and roll, he loved people. If you don't have Steve Rodriguez in your, in your mise en scène, just give it up. That's all I'm saying. For these people to come out on a Sunday at 6 o'clock and fly from all over the country, to support Jesse and Jamie and their family and, and pay respects to Steve is pretty humbling. Yeah, I'm going to miss the hell out of that guy. I'm going to miss his smile. Luckily, it lives on through Jesse, which is really good. Give a damn about a bad reputation. Whoa, no. Whoa, no. Whoa, no. Whoa, no. Whoa, no. Whoa, no. The guy packed a hundred years of fun into 48. A hundred years. He stood out, as you can see in every picture, he stood out. On the stage, he stood out. In life, he stood out. And he's got a beautiful family, and he's got a beautiful son. And that's the thing that I walk away with feeling so much better, is this kid, Jesse. Thank you to everybody. Everybody who was able to make it here tonight and those who even wanted to come. Especially for all the donations for my college fund and all the love and support from all of you amazing people. By the way, Jesse's not gonna spend that money on college. He's not going to college. <laughs> We're gonna share it and run away to Mexico. Steve, you know, he, I don't know, he was, he was awesome. He had style, style over everything. Or so, you guys are like, oh God, he had the biggest hugs and biggest kisses, but he also loved showing off his dong. You know, uh, you know when, you're, when you're on tour with a guy for 13 years, you practice three nights a week for forever, seemed like. 
uh, you spend time in that goddamn van, you get to know a guy, you know, you really do. He was the guy that was on stage. He was the same guy off the stage, and, and, uh, and uh, that was great. The last thing he said to me was, I love you, man. I do want to thank every one of you, each and every one of you, and everyone that has helped with this and taken care of everything. I, I can't. I mean, this music community is amazing, and it's consoling to me. It, it really is. He uh, was such a great guy. He uh, big heart. He would always greet you with a smile and a kiss, whether you wanted it or not. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, I'd love to have one right now. I'll tell you that much. Jesse, you are the spitting image of your dad. Yep. You better fucking go to college. <laughs> don't, wait, don't, don't listen to Kenny. What does he know? He plays a little guitar in a mariachi band, right? <laughs> he was a tireless, tireless supporter of Uncle Joe's and, and always made me feel like the kind of thing that I do and the guitar that I played and the, and the way that I approach things was the right way. And Steve was the heart and soul of your band. He was a bright, shining light of this band. He, he lived rock and roll. He loved rock and roll. But he had a big heart, and I know you know that. Steve was always the epitome to me of rock and roll. He was a rock and roller. You know, you see a lot of guys walking down the street who can dress the dress and walk the walk, but Steve was the real deal. I'm, I'm honored to be here with all these people. They're all part of our family. And... I want everybody to take a look around at all the people here that are all part of one big family that's the music community in San Diego. And just realize and, and love your friends and your family and all the people you see and know who you've met over the years because we're all one big group, man. And I'm so happy to know all of you and I'm so happy that you're all here. And uh, let's have a good time for the rest of the night. There you go.